Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, second video. So we're doing European Outlook for today's second video. So it's on a Thursday, we're having a look at the weather in detail for the next week, 10 days. Uh, for Europe, and I shall get time back for you in a second. Just say that the first video re release today was our 7 a.m. forecast. I'm going to change the 14 down with all of the regular features coming up for you later on this afternoon. So please like, share, subscribe on the videos. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Right, OK, so we'll start off with the uh, situation across Europe today on Thursday, the 14th of October. So high pressure is reaching across many western and southwestern parts of Europe. But we have got a deep area of low pressure pushing into Scandinavia. Also got an area of low pressure down in the southeastern and eastern part of the Mediterranean from Italy over towards Greece. Upper air temperatures look pretty hot down across Spain and Portugal, generally quite warm or mild to warm uh, across much of Western Europe. Eastern Europe looking a lot cooler, even colder down this east side of Europe, but particularly so in the southeastern corner from the Balkans over towards the Black Sea. And uh, then in the northwest of Europe, we can see that uh, it's a little bit milder across Scandinavia down into the UK and Ireland, though far north of Scandinavia does look quite cold. There's quite a lot of dry weather with that ridge of high pressure with two uh, uh, distinct sort of exceptions. So uh, we've got outbreaks of rain into uh, Scandinavia, particularly affecting Norway and Sweden, so that turns to snow, of course, as it pushes into the cold air further north. There's some showery rain coming southwards across Scotland and uh, into Northern Ireland and Northern England from that cold front just there. And then, of course, we've got all these heavy showers and thunderstorms down here in the southeastern corner of the, uh, of the Mediterranean from, uh, from, again, the Black Sea going down towards Greece and Turkey. Some, some very heavy thunderstorms, torrential rain uh, through some of those areas. Could well be some more flooding, I'm afraid, for parts of Greece. In between, there's a swathe of mainly dry weather away from Spain and Portugal, right way up towards the Baltic Sea. Although, do have a few light showers here through parts of uh, eastern Germany and into Poland, for example. Temperatures today, <coughs> excuse me, have a proper northwest southeast split. So, in the west and the northwest of Europe, it's generally quite mild, uh, with a temperature, uh, you know, uh, significantly above, averaging to be up between Celsius, quite wide, especially through France and even hotter than that through Spain and Portugal. Over on the east side of Europe, though, it does get much, much cooler from Germany eastwards. Um, down this east side of Europe, much cooler there, really quite cold by the look of it through the Balkans, for example, going down to the southeast corner. In fact, in mountain areas, I would not be too surprised if there are some uh, snowfalls going on down in that southeastern part of Europe. Scandinavia, particularly northern Scandinavia, also looking really quite cold. Tomorrow, uh, Friday, we're going to find this area of low pressure again over Scandinavia, pushing in towards the Baltic Sea, that pull colder air in from the north. Still that area of low pressure down around Greece as well. The ridge through the central west part of Europe looks like it's uh, weakening just slightly, but still hanging on in uh, many areas. Uh, rare temperatures look colder across Scandinavia. Pretty cool in the far south of Europe, warmer, particularly in the west of the southwest of Europe and down towards Spain and Portugal. Precipitation-wise, still those heavy uh, showers and thunderstorms here on the eastern, southeastern side of the Mediterranean. We've got further showers along as well as rain, with the risk of some snow across central and northern parts of Scandinavia. Again, otherwise a lot of dry weather through uh, many areas. Some of that wet over does push down in towards uh, northern parts of Poland, however, but a lot of dry weather actually uh, through, through those central and eastern, northeast parts of Europe and in the west as well. Temperatures tomorrow uh, will be colder across Scandinavia, so snowfalls will get a little bit more widespread at best. Still looking quite cold with those heavy showers and thunderstorms in the southeastern corner as well. Pretty cool, really, for much of northern Europe, and turning cool across Ireland and the UK as well. France, Spain, and Portugal getting the uh, warmest weather tomorrow. Saturday, uh, we'll see the, again, trough of low pressure, uh, which is a deep area of low pressure over Scandinavia, again, putting quite cold air in from the north. Otherwise, a ridge in many of these central and western parts of Europe, upper air temperatures look pretty cold across northern Europe, uh, relatively warm, though, in the far south and southwest of Europe. Further showers and longer spells of rain, sleet and snow across Scandinavia. The thunderstorms in the eastern part of there, they're easing a little bit. Lots of dry weather in between those two areas of precipitation. Some outbreaks of rain heading towards Ireland and western parts of Scotland by the end of day. Maybe some heavy showers from Portugal as well. Temperatures are looking cold across northern Europe, especially so for Scandinavia, warmer in the west and particularly the southwestern 
part of Europe on uh, on Saturday. Pretty cool over on the eastern side. Sunday sees that ridge of high pressure still bare across many parts of Europe, but weakening. Low pressure is uh, developing and deepening in the Atlantic. More about that in a moment. Deep low pressure still across uh, northern and northeast parts of Scandinavia, heading up towards northern parts of Finland and northwestern Russia at that point. Cold in the north of Europe through Scandinavia, that cold air digging into these eastern parts of Europe as well. So, for example, uh, into Poland, we'll see things getting, 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 uh, getting cooler there and into uh, western parts of Ukraine. Same time, though, western Europe looking generally quite warm, actually. In fact, turning a little bit warmer through uh, Spain, Portugal and into France in particular. There's a fair amount of dry weather on Sunday. There will be precipitation across northern Europe. That's a mix of rain, sink, and snow uh, once again. And in this southeastern corner, again, the showers are just easing down. So the very wet weather over Greece will start to ease during the weekend. Wet weather just beginning to approach parts of Ireland. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather, though, on uh, Sunday. Temperatures cold across northern Europe again, which is Scandinavia and into uh, in, into northwestern Russia, Finland again, looking pretty cold there. Um, and cool really through many of these eastern parts of Europe. The warmest weather is going to be out west, and especially so again through Spain, Portugal, and up into France. So that warmth beginning to extend back up towards Ireland and the UK, perhaps. Uh, Sunday, was, uh, Monday I should say, we'll see low pressure deepen in the Atlantic and start to push wet weather in from off the Atlantic Ocean. At the same time, though, we'll start to pull up some very warm air at the western side uh, of Europe. And that cold air across Scandinavia will begin to get pushed a little bit further northwards. So upper air temperatures looking like that, becoming warmer across the western side uh, of Europe with both south southwesterly winds. Generally getting a little bit milder across eastern Europe as well, but the far northern Europe actually gets colder. Northern part of Scandinavia sees minus 10 Celsius ice firm arriving, I think, for the first time this season. Uh, so there'll be showery rain pushing eastwards through Ireland, the UK, and into northern parts of France. Some snow showers and, and uh, outbreaks of snow across northern parts of Scandinavia. Otherwise, again, lots of dry weather through many parts of Europe. A few showers left in this southeastern corner of the Mediterranean. It does look cold over Scandinavia. Northern Scandinavia probably sub-zero by the beginning of uh, next week. Generally quite cool for much of northern Europe at the same time, though. It's getting ever warmer across parts of France, Spain and Portugal. Eastern Europe probably not too far from average. Uh, low pressure continues to deepen in the Atlantic on Tuesday, bringing further uh, wet weather in from off the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. This ridge slipping down into the Mediterranean will bring drier and warmer weather to uh, the Med, I would have thought. Upper air temperatures look quite hot, actually, through Spain, Portugal, and into southern parts of France. Very warm, generally, through France, that western side of Europe. Again, though, you see northern Scandinavia looking very, very cold there, and generally much of Scandinavia has turned colder by the time we get through Tuesday. Eastern parts of Europe, seeing a little bit of a warm-up going on uh, through there as well. Lots of heavy rain piling in from off the Atlantic through Ireland and the UK as we go into Tuesday. Further rain, sleet and snow over Scandinavia, increasing risk of uh, that turning to snow the further north you go. Uh, some heavy showers pushing down through Germany and in towards Poland, they'll turn to snow, they get towards mountainous alpine areas, and then lots of dry weather through the men and into eastern parts of Europe. Getting ever cold across Scandinavia, look at those blue colours there, uh, the cold intensifying, if anything, over Scandinavia by Tuesday. So I think by this point, even down across southern parts of Norway and Sweden, a lot of that precipitation is likely to be snow, actually, given how cold those temperatures are looking. Same time, though, it's getting very warm across France. We see temperatures going into the mid 20s Celsius, potentially through there. It's hotter, it's hotter still over Spain and Portugal. The east and southeastern part of Europe looking generally quite warm as well on Tuesday. Wet and windy weather by the middle of next week. This is Wednesday, deep low pressure. Sent to more or less over top of the UK and Ireland. That'll bring gale force winds and heavy rain into the western side of Europe. Pressure is higher across southern parts of Europe. So we're entering into a more traditional sort of autumn type setup with southern Europe looking generally quite warm, northern Europe looking wet and windy, northern Scandinavia looking very cold. But perhaps the colonies of the air begin to recede back northwards a little bit 
across Scandinavia by midweek. So lots of heavy showers and longer spells of rain in the west of Europe, pushing eastwards from the UK and Ireland through France into Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, through low countries, and then on into Denmark and Germany, and probably getting to Poland by the end of Wednesday, some really wet weather through there. Further north, was that, that precipitation does extend further north, was, but it turns increasingly to snow across Scandinavia, uh, especially again for those more northern areas. The driest weather will be through southern and eastern parts of Europe on Wednesday. Temperature-wise, we look like this generally quite uh, mild or warm, much of southern Europe. Cold across many parts of Scandinavia, especially central and northern parts of Scandinavia, and uh, into the UK. I begin to cool down a little bit there. The warmest temperatures probably transferring a bit further eastwards. By the time you get through to Thursday, that area of low pressure pushes uh, eastwards through Scandinavia and starts to bring northerly winds back in uh, once again to the western side of Europe. So western and northwest Europe will be getting uh, cold. At the same time, the warmer upper air temperatures, I think, will, uh, warmer temperatures will be pushing further eastwards and southwards. The upper air temperatures look like that. So yes, surge of cold air pushing southwards through much of Scandinavia, turning cold across Ireland of the UK as well. At the same time, though, those warmer southwesterly winds and, and warmer temperatures will be transferring further eastwards across Europe. Loads of precipitation by the end of uh, next week, by Thursday. So just in case of showers or longer spells of rain, really, across much of uh, Europe, the southern part of Europe, River Med, looking mainly dry, but uh, north of the Alps, looks very unsettled by the middle of next week, probably autumnal, and uh, even winter biting across Scandinavia, again, a lot of precipitation through central and northern parts of Scandinavia, anyway, will be snow. And uh, into the UK and Ireland, it will be getting colder, so maybe some wintry falls over the Scottish mountains by the uh, middle of next week. Temperature-wise, it does look really cold across many parts of Scandinavia. Sub-zero temperatures in central and northern regions. Cooler through uh, the UK and Ireland, or colder through the UK and Ireland. The warmer temperatures are being pushed over towards the eastern side of Europe with those southwesterly winds. Uh, France, Spain, Portugal, still pretty warm, but probably cooling down a little bit there. I'll just run you on to uh, day 10. This is Friday 22nd. So again, we see these very cold northerly winds in over Scandinavia. Snow cover will be piling up up there, I think, um, by the end of next week. A ridge building into the west of Europe will bring quite a lot of dry weather to the uh, west side of Europe. But it will be a little bit on the cool side. And then into weekend of the 23rd, 24th of October, up to day 10. Basically, we see the ridge transferring towards the east side of Europe. Low pressure developing out in the Atlantic. That brings more wet and windy weather into the western side of uh, Europe. So drier in the east, wetter in the west. Quite an interesting week's weather uh, coming up across Europe uh, this week. And uh, we will see things turning increasingly wet and windy, I think, is the main story. Starting in the west and transferring eastwards. And across northern Europe, winter biting a little bit earlier, perhaps, than it has over a few years across much of Scandinavia. Right, well, that's it for the European Out this week. Do it all over again uh, next Thursday. If you enjoy this forecast, then please uh, like, share and subscribe. And uh, we're going to be back shortly with your 10 to 14 day. But we'll include all of the rate features. So come back for that. Then for this week's European Outlook, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.